This is a dubious record in the history of parliamentary democracy, to the best of my knowledge and whatever research I've been able to do. There is no example of any parliament in any parliamentary democratic system in the world that has ever suspended so many people at one time. It is a disgrace, it is a blot on our democracy, and honestly, I am ashamed that those in power in this country would allow this to happen instead of preserving the parliamentary democracy that gives us a good image and reputation around the world. Look, we don't need a circular. Everyone knows what you can and cannot do, what you should and should not do. The most important thing is the principal responsibility of the Council of Ministers and a parliamentary democracy is accountability to parliament. When the parliamentary security breach occurred, it would have been their responsibility for the Home Minister to come and to actually address the parliament. The very things he was saying outside to the media and statements, press interviews, TV, he could have said to parliament. That's his job. That's his duty. Having said it to parliament, he could have then proceeded uh, to initiate a discussion. Everyone, all the party leaders would have roughly expressed the same ideas briefly and then we could have resumed the work of parliament. We all wanted to continue participating fully. All the opposition parties wanted to participate in the debates this year. Instead, this government doesn't act as if they have any responsibility to make parliament work. They have no responsibility to accommodate the opposition. They just want it's my way or the highway. And that's why they started suspending people instead for asking for a discussion. That is simply unreasonable and we are paying the price. Our parliamentary democracy is paying the price today.